I'm telling you, it never fails. The guys over at Terra Luna 2.0, including Do Kwan himself, they are continuing to post and try and get people from the Lunatics army. The Lunatics out there. Those that are supporting... Terra Luna Classic, not Terra Luna 2.0. They're trying to poach them. They're trying to get them on their team. They're trying now to sell NFTs to them. Guys, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the recent Twitter posts and, and retweets from Do Kwan. I'm going to talk about Terra Luna Classic. And I'm going to talk about what they're doing to try and take advantage of the lunatics. You know, I, I, I can't comprehend how these people think that lunatics are for Terra Luna 2.0. Like, do they not read anything online? Do they not know anything about the communities that are being built up around these coins? Guys, lunatics are for Lunk. Lunatics are for Terra Luna Classic. Lunatics are not Do Kwan followers. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks. $1 crypto trade, you're going to get $5 in free crypto. And I'm telling you right now, one day, I don't know when, but one day, this dip will be over, and we will see see gains again and we're going to be glad that we stayed in or got into the cryptocurrency market uh, during such brutal bear times. Now guys, let's talk about the most recent retweet from Do Kwan out there. This guy's been very silent with his own tweets, but he's been retweeting projects on the Terra Luna 2.0. He has nothing to do with Terra Luna Classic anymore. The Terra Luna 2.0 network. Boy, it, this is the strange part to me. By a, a Twitter account that is starting up an NFT project that is not only ripping off Board Ape Yacht Club and taking basically the exact design of those apes, but it is calling all lunatics and all apes to join this movement, to join this NFT project, and it is being built on Terra Luna 2.0. Do Kwan tweets this out or retweets this out, whatever it's called, and, and it's a it's a project. It's got I believe 500 followers out on Twitter right now. Not hating on the amount of followers you can get. It is difficult to get Twitter followers out there and so on. And hopefully all 500 are not paid for bots and things like that. But nonetheless, here's the thing that these people overlook. And it's very strange to me because if you're building a community, if you are going to be selling an NFT, if you are going to be starting something like this, you need to make sure that it is marketed to the correct people, and you need to make sure that it is not ripping off other projects because that makes people mad. That makes people not want to participate. The lunatics, they don't understand this yet. I guess Do Kwan thinks that everybody supports Do Kwan, or Do Kwan thinks that everybody supports his ambitions and his ideas, and that Terra Luna 2.0 is therefore the way to go. But Terra, the, the lunatics support Terra Luna Classic, and it is, it's grossly obvious that if you read through the comments on these Twitter accounts and these Twitter posts, that, that the lunatics are letting him know. And, and I'm just, I'm literally preaching to the choir here, right? Because the, the lunatics on Twitter are letting Do Kwan know, the lunatics on Twitter are letting this NFT project know that they don't care about Terra Luna 2.0. They want support for Luna Classic. They want to see Luna Classic go up, and they are making themselves very loud in this situation. So I do like to see that. I just don't like to see people being taken advantage of. Now, we've got this NFT project, right? It, it really is the artwork basically stolen from Board Ape Yacht Club and, and moving over to the Terra Luna 2.0 network. As far as utility goes, I don't know what they've got going on out there. I don't know how much these things cost. I, I did not go in and, and you know act like I was going to buy one or anything for that matter to, to really get a full understanding of the cost of the mint or anything like that. It's just... Uh, on the surface, it is clear that they are trying to take advantage of two very successful projects at this point. And you might, you might, if you're a, a Terra Luna Classic bear, you might say that Terra Luna Classic is it's dead. It is it's not a successful project, and I completely get that. Under Do Kwan, yes, it failed. Under the leadership of Terra Luna 2.0 developers, it failed. But normally, in any other circumstance. 
if a project that falls from the just hundreds of dollar price range to point zero 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 whatever it was and basically is worthless, it would have died. It would have been worthless. It would have been gone by now. People, trust me when I tell you, people are willing to turn their backs on you faster than anything. And that didn't happen with Terra Luna Classic. We've got these so-called lunatics, self-proclaimed lunatics out there that are buying, holding, and rebuilding Terra Luna Classic. Guys, it is not dead. It might be struggling. It might be fighting. It might be trying just to stay above water right now. But it is still kicking. It is still moving, and it is still breathing. And where there's a will, I absolutely believe that there is a way. And <laughs> that's the part that they realize. That's the part that Do Kwan is starting to understand. And that these other projects that are building on 2.0, they're starting to understand that if you have a community, if you have supporters, if you have people like these lunatics that are willing to walk through everything because they believe in the progress and they believe in the potential in a specific project, there's basically nothing that you can't accomplish. And they're realizing that, and that's why they're trying to poach us. That's why they're trying to poach those that believe in Terra Luna Classic. They saw the success of Yuga Labs. They're trying to emulate that, and, and it's almost... I don't know. They they say that you know your your ego will blind you, pride will blind you, and and that truly is what it seems like to me. Is that these people who believe their project is the best? And I'm not saying Terra Luna Classic is the best project either, right? Clearly, Shiba Inu Coin is, is very well off. Ethereum, you've got your pros and your cons in every project, and you've got your haters and you've got your believers in every project. You look at Michael Saylor, he's, he's going to tell you Ethereum is trash, right? You've got people that believe Bitcoin is the only way. Terra Luna Classic is the only way. Do Kwan is the only way. Like, you are going to have people who, who can't mesh with other ideas and other projects, and, and that's a downfall in a sense. You have to be malleable. You have to be willing to at least look and understand what the pros and the cons are in every project. And guys, I'm going to tell you, Terra Luna Classic, its biggest pro right now are the lunatics. And the lunatics are the ones that are willing to, to start a token, like uh, a lunatics token, right? It's, it's self-named. To burn Terra Luna Classic. Those that are allowing the metaverse, starship universe, or whatever it's called, to, to utilize Terra Luna Classic as payment. Those that are buying and holding regardless. Those that are starting social media accounts to promote Terra Luna Classic. Like, those, that's the pro. The, the community and the strength there. The con, it's extremely risky. Right? I mean, it's got that, it's got a bad taste in its mouth already because the way Do Kwan left it, because the fact that it did fall from $100 to basically nothing, the fact that it had a project, a purpose, and a utility in stabilizing and pegging UST, that failed miserably. And, and there's a lot of people that'll never touch it simply because of its failure in the past. Now, we will get over that, we will rebuild, and we will move on. But I'm going to tell you right now, there are pros and cons in every single project. All you've got to do is look at them and pick which ones you believe in. Guys, I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think that Do Kwan and these guys are just trying to do this? Or do you think that it's a little bit more innocent than maybe I'm putting on? Let us know down there. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. You're getting six free stocks on Weeble. And there's a free Discord down there, man. Join it. It's absolutely free. There's not, no charge or anything. So make sure to join that. Discord. And until the next time, each and every one of you have an awesome day.